So first, you know, I want to say Libra, and I'm picking it up here in this spread. I am. I don't know. You know, some of you may follow astrology, and some of you may not. But basically, Jupiter is now in your sign, in your sun sign, your first house. Um, and I had Jupiter in my sun sign last year. So I can tell you from personal experience, I know what it's like to have Jupiter right there. And um, it's a lot of energy, okay? This year is gonna be about some significant changes, positive changes. May, you know, there's, there's growing pains in everything. You know, change is always difficult because there's some uncertainty, there's some worry, some anxiety, but ultimately, it's gonna grow, it's gonna help you grow um, just so much. And, and, and you know, you're, by the end of this year, or by the time Jupiter is exiting your sign, you're gonna be a different person. I'm just telling you that now. You're gonna be a different person. A better person for it, okay? Um, it is known as the good luck planet. It's what brings you luck and being in your first house, being about yourself, your ego, um, your body, your physical condition, all of that's going to change. One thing I have to say with, with Jupiter in your in your first house is watch for weight gain, okay? <laughs> I probably gained about 15 pounds this last year with Jupiter in my sign, and now that it's out of my sign, I'm actually starting to work it off finally, but it's been a challenge this year, let me tell you. I just wanted to eat everything. Um... So, what I'm seeing in the spread here is um, there's going to be some significant growth this month when it comes to your emotions, but also finances, okay? <sighs> Typically, Queen of Pentacles represents an earth sign that can be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This could be someone that has a significant impact or influence on you this month who's helping you move in directions that... Um, perhaps you haven't wanted to or that you've been afraid to. This can also be someone that you may have a little bit of conflict with um, because underneath the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Five of Wands and the Strength card. So what this is telling me is when it comes to dealing with this person, really, really try to keep your emotions under wrap. And you're very good at that, Libra. I mean, you really are. Um, I feel like, you know, communication may be a little tough with this, with this earth sign female. But that's okay, because by the middle of the month, there's clarity, there's communication, there's understanding, and whatever conflict you may have had with this Queen of Pentacles, you've won, you, you're going to win it, okay? So don't worry about it. Um, it's maybe challenging at the beginning of the month, but you will, you will come out victorious, okay? The main thing is act with tact and integrity. Be mindful of your words with this, with this earth sign, with this queen of pentacles that's going to help you be victorious and it's going to smooth things out so they're not so challenging okay uh, i'm getting a message of just make sure that when you're dealing with this person try to ensure and it's not i'm not saying that you would do it intentionally because i don't feel it's intentional i just see a situation where you're trying to communicate with this individual and they're taking it as you're like you're being passive aggressive, but you're really not. You're just, you know, I, I think they're kind of like looking for something. So just be sure when, that when you communicate with this person, you cover all your bases and maybe say something to the extent of, you know, it's not my intention to X, Y, and Z, and I am sorry if you feel X, Y, and Z, but, you know, it's, then, you can, then you can express where you're coming from. Um, like I said, by the middle of the month, we see the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Cups, which is beautiful. It's wishes granted, wishes fulfilled. I see a celebration here with the Three of Cups in the center where you're celebrating a victory. Possibly, this could even just be a tough job interview. 
with someone who's an earth sign or someone who's very grounded, you may feel a bit intimidated by this person. Um, but ultimately, you come out victorious, okay? The Ace of Swords is a victory card. Sometimes it can be a hard-earned victory. So again, if this is a tough interview process, maybe you're interviewing multiple times and you know, you're know you kind of feeling unsure of yourself uh, because you can't really comprehend or understand why the Queen of Pentacles is a bit brash or maybe uptight during the interview process and it makes you feel a little insecure. But you're going to come out on top, so don't worry about it. You know, um, ultimately, I feel like this month is leading you to greater financial stability. And it's something that ultimately benefits not only you, but those around you whom you may support. Your family. I want to say that in the beginning of the month, you, you may feel, again, you may feel some confusion. This goes from the middle, I want to say the beginning to the middle of the month. There's some confusion, and, and you're looking back on the decisions you've made that have led you to where you are today, and you're saying, is this where I want to be? Like, what do I really, really want? Why have I gone into the professions or the careers or the jobs, or why have I made the financial decisions that I've made? Um, is this truly right for me? You know, maybe maybe you're thinking about relocating somewhere. Maybe you're thinking about um, buying a home instead of renting. Maybe you're thinking about, you know, downsizing even and saying, do I really need this big house anymore? Maybe I want a condo or maybe I want a townhouse. Like you're, you're, you're kind of like really analyzing the past and saying, okay, what has worked? What hasn't worked? What do I want to change? And that's what I'm going to work toward. Because this month, in the, by the middle of the month, you're going to have the confidence to go for it, okay? The Page of Pentacles here, it's, it's a message. It's a message about finances. And the overall energy being the, the Ten of Pentacles is telling me, you, in this month, are going to start creating the kind of wealth and financial prosperity for yourself that's going to last you for some time. And it's also going to be... Um, the financial security that moves you towards assisting others in your family and helping others. I want to say even maybe putting someone through college for some of you. Putting your children in college or a private school or even having another child maybe on the table here. Maybe considering that. Or it can just be your buying a home for your family or you are finding more financial stability in general. Let's take some clarifying cards on this and I want to look at the five of wands which is the conflict I see underlining the queen of pentacles. So I'm kind of getting that this Queen of Pentacles, okay, they may offer you something, but it's a consolation prize. It's not exactly what you want. And you're kind of in the this situation where you have to say, is this something I really want to go for? Um, and I feel as though you feel you may upset this Queen of Pentacles if you don't take their offer. Okay, but you gotta you gotta do what's best for you. This card is saying you gotta sh you gotta soldier on. Okay, you gotta be brave. You gotta be strong. Don't do things just to be considerate of others. Do things that are in your best interest. Let's look at the Seven of Pentacles. Oh, yes. This Seven of Pentacles is talking about reevaluating what you've done thus far and how you've invested yourself. 
whether it's your finances, your time, your emotions, how have you invested yourself? And now you're questioning that, okay, by middle to end of the month. And what comes up is you're questioning how you make money or how you can make more money. You have a certain level of loyalty and faithfulness to maybe a job or a career, but you have to ask yourself, am I truly happy in this? And you're starting to feel weighed down by it. So you're recognizing this month that you want to do something different. You want to make a change, okay? Maybe that's where it comes in where this, this person offers you an opportunity and you're asking yourself, this is something I really want to do. You have to be honest with yourself. And if it's not, take the time, like this card says, to analyze where it is I want to go. Because ultimately, you got to do what you're passionate about in order to get to this card, which is the Ten of Pentacles. You know, having that stability, that financial stability, security, um, that can be passed down. So I'm going to move on from that and we're going to look at the love portion for Libra. fly out here it's the strength card again a lot of strengths required for you this month huh just have faith in yourself Libra don't back down take a lesson from uh, the Leos and also this card is a symbol for control your temper you see how this man is controlling the lion uh, this ferocious lion is controlling your temperament, okay? Okay, nine of wands pops out. We have the six of cups. The devil, uh-oh. That couldn't be good or bad. We'll look. The Magician. Five of Cups. Knight of Cups. I already know where this is going. Three of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. And Justice. All right. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups. So this month may be a bit of an emotional month for some of you. Remember, this is a general reading, so not all messages will apply, okay? Um, this is an emotional month because I see an ex-lover coming back. Someone that perhaps you still have emotions for or you still have some feelings for. Um, but i got to tell you, this person does not have good intentions, okay? And this is where the strength comes in. you got to be strong because you know that this relationship in the past has been very unfair, unbalanced. And he's coming in as the magician. So basically, he's coming in as someone that he's going to talk the talk. And he's going to be very charming. He's going to be very, very convincing. Okay? And he's going to play on your emotions. I, this is someone that I feel he kind of knows that they're still... Like, you still have feelings for him or her. Um, and he's going to he's gonna play that to his advantage. But I don't feel he's being genuine. He's not being authentic. Okay? So, I see you making the right choice, even though it's a challenging one. It's just going to be a highly emotional month for you in regards to this. Because, again, you know, there's still some connection to this person. It's almost like there's a karmic tie to this person, um, or it can be, I, I'm getting like a codependency. Um, I also want to say that this person may be someone that has struggled in the past with some type of an addiction, and 
you know that they're unhealthy, that they're not a, a balanced fit for you, okay? You're coming up here as the exit card, but also I really focus on the scales here. It's all about balance. We see here with underneath the magician, the three of pentacles, which talks about a lack of balance. It's like in the past, this person was controlling. Um, they wanted things their way in the relationship. Um, they know how to, to, uh, to feed your emotions or feed into your emotions in order for to, to say the right things for you to uh, be moved by them or emotionally swayed by them. But don't let them get to you. And I see that you are, again, going to make the right decision here. You're going to come out victorious on this. And you're going to make sure that the scales are balanced. Okay. For those of you who are single, I would say there's someone coming in from you, uh, from you, someone coming in for you. And this could be a fellow Libran. And, you know, in the center here, we have five cups. So I feel like for you, some of you who are single, you may still be struggling with emotional loss from a past relationship or I want to say feelings of inadequacy um, but I feel like someone new may be coming in for you I would say it could be a water sign or it can be uh, a Libran like you like I said and this person um, there's gonna be a lot of sexual chemistry okay I want to say don't rush into um, I don't know any other way to say this, but don't rush into bed with this person because there is going to be a lot of sexual tension and friction there. You may um, not be happy if you do, okay? Give it time to grow. For those of you where an ex may be coming back, don't give this person the time of day because they really don't have good intentions. And don't let them get to you emotionally, okay? Just don't let them sway you. Don't let them rain on your parade. <laughs> I want to look at this devil card. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, look. Don't trust this person. They wreaked havoc in your life. They're going to do it again. They're coming in, acting all innocent, acting like they want to help you out of the carriage, right? I love you. I miss you. I'm a good guy. Just give me another chance. And then you find out it's BS. They're false. They're lying. Okay. And it's, it's interesting because that comes out on the devil card, right? And the devil is looking at the strength card. I don't know if you can see that with the light. But the devil's looking at the strength card. Like, he's looking at you like, do you have the strength to fight me? Yes, you do. Don't give him the time of day. Let's look at the five of cups here in the center. Yeah, you said goodbye to a lover. You said goodbye to a lover. Um, there may have been a lot of sexual attraction with this person, and you may still have sexual attraction to this person, but they're only going to bring you sorrow and pain if you get back in this relationship. So let it go. Don't get back involved with this person, okay? 